Start recording. Stop speech off. Hi everyone, this is Mike Daggett. Today I would like to do a series um, that I will be giving you the title for um, after we read this passage. So if you have a, your Bibles, please turn with me to Jeremiah um, chapter 29 verse 11. And I know, sorry, for I know the thoughts that I think towards you, saith the Lord. Thoughts of peace and not of evil, to give you an expected end. And I want to use for a subject, God's plan for us. Would you bow your heads? <clears throat> well, this is part one. Would you bow your heads? Father, we come before you tonight in the name of your son, Jesus. We thank you for your son, Jesus. Lord, Lord, I'm asking that you would show us your plan for us, Lord. And help us to keep seeking, keep asking, and keep knocking on heaven's door, Lord. And I ask this in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. In, in this series, um, we will be talking about God's plan for us. And I know that you all want to know his plan for you. Hopefully in this series, I will help you with that. I remember uh, reading this scripture and thinking, yes, God does have a plan for me, but what is it? But I do know this. If he has a plan for me, he has a plan for you. He may not show you immediately, but over time, he will. And we need to keep asking him what his plans for us are is okay now the series doesn't talk about jeremiah although i know that god did have a plan for jeremiah and i know that we all have a similarity between us and jeremiah god had a plan for jeremiah and he has a plan for us today too. Now as we continue this series during these four weeks, um, I will hopefully give you what I think will help you. Um, in conclusion, we should ask God what his plan for, you should ask, ask God, God what his plan for you is and he might tell you. But keep asking, keep seeking, keep knocking, because that's what the Bible uh, says to do. Amen? Amen. And um, I hope this series, well, I hope this video helped you, and um, I'll talk to you next, next week. Stop recording.